I knew it. I knew you were going to want one on every one of our toilets. So we're going to put the heated seat on our primary bathroom here, uh, made by Soft Spa. So this is a round front toilet. We're going to show you the installation of that. And really the big problem is not having an outlet. So I'm going to solve that problem, show you what you have to do to do that. Thanks, honey. <laughs> Keep in mind that the outlet is GFI protected as it is right now. So you don't necessarily have to put, you know, now the, the GFI that we're connecting to there is GFI protected, but it does have its own GFI adaption. So if you just wanted to put a regular outlet in, uh, this is going to protect it as it works. But you can see how long this cord is. I mean, it's, it's about three feet. So you have plenty ability to plug this in behind the toilet. So we have an out, we have basically have a stud right here and we don't have a stud all the way until we're behind the toilet. So anywhere in here, we're gonna be capable of running a wire through. All right, so this switch is actually just this lighting here, but um, that's not gonna interfere with anything. We're just gonna basically run it off of this outlet. So what I normally do is honestly just cut a little hole in the top of the box and run uh, a fish stick up through here. The game plan is to drill through the top header here and then fish the wire down into our hole here. So this is definitely the part that can vary wildly from one home to another. In this particular situation, thankfully, I don't even have any insulation at the ceiling level. I'm able to see all of my wires. So I basically just found all the wires that were going down to the switch boxes and then just drilling through that top header plate. Uh, easier said than done. Uh, in this one, it actually was that simple, but uh, there's a lot of scenarios where it won't be that easy. So these are really helpful. These are little fish sticks and we can run this through this hole here. easily run our wire in here. Let's get rid of this toilet seat. This outdated, horribly cold toilet seat. <laughs> here is facing the front so before we tighten that completely because we want to be able to move this around you're actually going to want to have like a little bit of space here in between the toilet tank and the things so that when you open your lid you can actually get it open so that's going to have to be where we're going to be resting so then now We'll flip this out, so this little side port, and then this is your supply line to it. So just go hand tight, and then like a half a turn after that, you don't want to do much more than that. This will stick out the side here, and as you can see, you can see that clicking. So this is your release button. So the simple part is just connecting the water supply. So these guys already have. Uh, the rubber gaskets in them so you just literally just slide it you know thread it onto your toilet flange I can turn the water back on I'm just gonna loop this wire around the back Plug it in. There we go. All right, so now we got the bidet toilet seat in. 
It's already warming up your seat, babe. Yeah. So you can put the seat temp on here. Extra, so, extra high. Extra high, all the way up. <laughs> <laughs> so this sensor, you can test things if you wanted to by just putting your arm on there. Okay. Again, we got the water pressure. We can turn it all the way up. We can turn it all the way down. Whatever pressure you want. We can change the position. Okay, shut it off. Let me go ahead and put the dryer on. There's the dryer. <laughs> and you got the night light. Put the night light on. Now it's pretty light in here, so it's yeah, you can still see the light in there. But we can have that on in the evenings there. Got a deodorizer. Pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Let me know your thoughts about the bidet toilet seat. If you plan on upgrading yours and put one of these in your home. I'd